This is going well. Surrounded by friends. Surrounded by sharp claws. Whoever you are, face me! What are you? A ward against the darkness. You are the darkness. You're a monster. To those who made me. Where are the other griffins? I liberated them. They don't belong to you. The Grey Wardens failed them. Grey Wardens rid the world of horrors like you. They created the horrors. The bones of griffins abandoned in this cauldron. Proud warriors forgotten. Who are you? Their salvation. The blood offers protection. Archdemon blood? You're blighting them? Protecting them. The same blood runs through your veins, Warden. Join with us and honor their future. I die first! Then this is your tomb. Gloomhowl is gone. It's okay. Let it go. Whatever you say. I need to catch my breath anyway. We all should. Never hunt things you don't understand. The Gloomhowler is more than a monster. Your quarry, your cool. I got what I needed. The sun stripped a piece of its clothing. Gives me something to go on. <coughs> Even though I told you to stay put. He did save you. He could have been killed. He cares about you. <coughs> That's part of your talent, right? Well, I suppose that was good form extending your talents. That'll leave a scratch. <coughs> yeah, yeah. You're getting the hang of things. Now let's go, boy. This place is pure evil. Archdemon blood's as dangerous as it gets. Grey Wardens keep it locked away for good reason. The stuff is pure evil. But not as evil as using it to blight the only griffins in the world. Now the Gloom Howler held that honor. Asan's brothers and sisters needed a miracle. And it would be up to Davrin and his flying friend to deliver. Lucanus. It's terribly uncivilized to drop in on a lady unannounced. Now the evening's ruined. Of all the ways this could go down, I didn't expect we'd catch you in the bath. This interruption won't last long. So, so serious, Lucanus. Why don't we talk? I... I can tell you much about Venatori... ...and our pet crows. No, I want her heart... ...quivering on our life. You... ...want to know who betrayed you, don't you? Who sent you to the ossuary? Doc! I knew you were risk! Ilario? I told you this is crow business. Amato. No! Mine! Get Ilario out! What? No! Rook, I can't! That's enough! Relent. 
We can't wait around for more Venatori. Help me get Lacanis out of here. I can't. That thing controlling him tried to kill me. I'll get you a boat, but I can't be near him. Rook, keep him away. From Treviso, from the cross, he is a danger to the family. <laughs> Second dragon! Press the attack! Bring that first one down! Elenine. Mortals, you defied me at Weishaupt, stole my arch demon. I will have blood for that. Enchanted ballista bolts. You'll even pierce blighted dragon hide. Let's bring them down, Rook! Dragons! We have to stop her! A thrall is easily replaced. You are not. Without you, the Blight is a brute weapon. Only your hands mold it into life. The mortals deserve worse. But we have crucial work in Arlathan. After it is complete, One resists. The Dread Wolf's influence. His presence lingers. 
ever defiant for now. More demons. Take care of the team for me. Chuckles. Hope I'm not interrupting. <sighs> All right. Let's buy him some time. The veil is a wound inflicted upon this world. It must be healed. By drowning the world in demons? I have taken precautions to minimize the damage, Varric. Minimize the... People are dying right now. You need to listen. Please. People are always dying. It is what they do. We need a better plan. Do you want me to take the shot? Won't work. He's too powerful. What if we disrupt the ritual? How? See those statues? If we break the scaffolding holding that one up, the whole thing will come down on Solus. It's risky. Interrupting a ritual at this scale will have consequences. And what about the demons? Varric needs us to hold them off. Right. You two stay here. I'll bring down the statue. What? No. Stepping into all that raw magic is suicide. The storm could tear you apart. Anyone got a better idea? Fine, but you'll need backup. I'm with you. I'm a mage. I'll go. Either way, someone needs to stay back and deal with the demons. Let's go, Harding. Nev, keep the demons off us. You got it. Why? Why tear down the veil, knowing all the lives it'll cost? We shared a journey years ago. Do you believe that I would do this if there was some other better option? The pillar's weak, but... It isn't falling! We need to push it! I'm with you! Together! Now! You came a long way and made a valiant effort, Varric, but this story does not end with my downfall. Push! No! No!
You have no idea what you have done. I know what I did. I stopped you from destroying the world. I was not destroying the world! When you disrupted my ritual, the magical energies pulled me here, into the Fade. Okay, so that's why you're here. But why am I here? Your physical body is unconscious, but you shed a few drops of blood at the ritual site. Enough for a tenuous connection. Blood magic? Firstly, I abhor the use of blood magic. Secondly, had I the power to control you, I would already have used it. So all I have to do to get away from you is wake up. And how much experience do you have willing yourself from sleep to wakefulness? Can't be that hard. While you practice, perhaps you would like to hear about the consequences of your actions. Meaning? The Evanurus. Or as you would call them, the Elven Gods. The creatures that escaped. In ancient times, they ruled the Elves, but that was not enough. They sought not just to be obeyed, but to be worshipped. When I rebelled, they drew on the horrific magic of the Blight, corrupting all they saw until I trapped them. Thanks to you, though, I am now trapped, and the Blighted Elven Gods walk free. Thanks to me? I wasn't the one performing a big ritual to free them. Free them? My mortal enemies. I was ensuring that they would never escape their prison. You were tearing down the veil. I had a plan. Varric always said you'd have a big explanation for why none of this was your fault. Varric? Yeah, he said that's your style. Never quite lies, clever half-truths that let you convince yourself you're doing the right thing. He tried to talk to you anyway, and now he's hurt. Varric is... quite practiced at shading the truth himself. So those things that got out, you said they were gods? They said they were gods. Blighted, tyrannical, sadistic gods. It took all my power to imprison them millennia ago, but I am certain you will be fine. That's really helpful. What are you, the elven god of sarcasm? Lies, treachery, and rebellion, depending upon the story. And how could I help? I do not have my ritual dagger. I cannot access my network of mirrors to travel from the lighthouse to anywhere in the world. All I can offer is what I know. Helpful advice from the elven god of, and I am quoting you here, lies, treachery, and rebellion. Depending on the story. Elganan and Gilanane are your problem to solve. This is your responsibility now. Why? Why tear down you the veil? Do you want me to take the shot? No! no! Beric! You have no idea what you have done. This is your responsibility now. Well... <clears throat> Look who's still with us. Varric? You're okay. But I saw Solus stab you. You fell. Trust me, kid. I've had worse. And it'd take more than a flesh wound to stop me. Don't think I'll be making it out to the field anytime soon, though. Varric, when we stopped the ritual, something else got out. Something even Solus is afraid of. You've got this, Rook. World's not flooded with demons right now. Because you stopped Solus, not me. Varric, even so, I need you to... Rook, you've got this. I've seen your work. Like your impulsive rescue of those captives from the Antam slavers. There's a reason I dragged you into this whole soulless mess. You're clever, adaptable, and you don't know when to quit. Rook? You're awake. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to barge in. I was just looking for Elfrut. No, it's, it's fine. I was just going to stretch my legs. Oh, Rook. Watch your step out there. If you put a foot wrong, you'll fall forever. 
Yeah, on top of everything else, the Alluvian took us to the Fade. The place where dreams come from, so... that. Yeah. Then I really need to look around. Yeah, you should. And we should talk about things. Maybe find Nev. She's outside, looking around. There's a room with a table down the stairs. I'll meet you there. Go ahead, Rook. Me. I need to sleep. See you later, kid. Look who's with us. We're, uh... We're really in the Fade. Land of raw magic, nightmares, and this, apparently. It's a lot to take in. Harding thought we should talk about what comes next. She's not wrong. But if you need a breather, can't hurt to look around first. So, we stopped the ritual. And Varric paid the price. Hey. Varric made his choice to go talk with Solas. He knew the risks. We all did. And now Solas is gone. And we're here. Wherever here is. Besides in the Fade. Solas called it the Lighthouse. He did? When? Sorry. It was while I was unconscious. Solas appeared in my dream. Really? I'm glad you're all right. From what I saw, he's trapped in the Fade now. Not here, but some kind of prison. You're sure that wasn't just a dream? It's a reasonable reaction. Solus can speak with people in their dreams. Even kill them. He said our connection wasn't strong enough for him to do that. He could only reach me because I bled at the ritual site when I got banged up. So Solus is using blood magic? Like any normal mage would to play with your mind? But he's not a normal mage, like I told you. He's an elven god. Putting together a nice ritual doesn't make him a god. We all know he's not a god, but it's faster than saying ancient elven mage every time we talk about him. All right, well, we've stopped the ritual and there doesn't seem to be an immediate danger. For now. You're certain Solas can't use blood magic to affect your mind? I'm not certain of anything. But we're not out of danger. What do you mean? Solas had two of the other elven gods imprisoned. When he got trapped, they escaped. So those things we saw come out of the Fade when the ritual went wild, those are... Elganarn and Gilanane, two of the ancient elven gods that Solas rebelled against. Solas warned me about them being evil, which is pretty rich coming from the guy who just tried to tear down the veil. You don't believe him? No, that's the problem. I do believe him. He said they were horrific tyrants. Tyrants so powerful, elven history remembers them as gods. Solas says Elganarn and Gilanane drew on the blight for power and became corrupted. That was when he imprisoned them. So instead of one god running around, we have two. And they're not just powerful, they're blighted. We need to get out there and stop them. Just like that, without Varric. And you're still getting back on your feet. I'm fine. We can't just sit here and do nothing. We need to investigate. Figure out what we're dealing with before we rush in and make things worse. And how many more people will get hurt, get killed, while we spend time investigating? If Elganarn and Gilanane are worse than Solas, we can't go in blind. We need to know what they can do and what they want. But we only have Solas's word about all of this. Then let's go investigate for ourselves. We find out what we're dealing with, and then we take our shot. Fine. The Alluvian led us here instead of back to Minrathis. Let's hope it goes back to the ritual site. Maybe we can find some clues at the scene of the crime. Harding, are you okay to go? I'm not gonna sit back while elven gods destroy the world because I have a headache. All right then. Let's get back to the ritual site. The Alluvian has its own special room. It's just down the stairs. 
For all we know, there's a dozen demons waiting on the other side of that alluvian. If it even takes us back to Arlefin. <sighs> Hardik, you sure you're up for this? I'm fine. Well then. Shall we? Let's do this. It's quiet. Well, isn't that a surprise? There's the ritual site. But if the gods really did get out, they're not here anymore. Right, let's take a look around and see if we can find... Strife? Irlin? It's me, Lace Harding. Harding? What are you doing back in Arlathan? It's complicated. I can see that. Rook, Nev, this is Strife and Irlin. Varric and I met them when we first started hunting down Solus. They're veil jumpers, experts in ancient elven magic. Hardly experts. I should have been able to shut that artifact down. I'm sorry, Tarith. It's not your fault. Since the sky ripped open, the magic's been surging. Bunch of artifacts that had been dormant for centuries started coming alive. This is because of Finn Harrell's... Sorry. Solus's ritual, isn't it? You all were supposed to stop him. You know what lesson I learned again today? What's that? Never bet against Rook. You can find the twisting path through any problem. Too bad the gods got away, and Elganarn has become bolder. We came to kill a dragon, yes? And instead, we killed a bear. That took two of the gods' pieces off the board. And we have our revenge. And so does Treviso. We destroyed weapons. The wielder still lives. How do we find them? The gods, I mean. Evka, when we arrived, you'd already reached out to the Veil Jumpers. Right. They couldn't help because they were dealing with the Venatori. Coincidental timing, isn't it? And Gilanane mentioned Arlathan. When did she say that? After Elganarn cast his spell. I was close enough to hear them. Arlathan is huge. The gods could be anywhere in that forest. The Veil Jumpers can help us narrow the search. We help with their Venatori problem. Then odds are good we find the gods' trail. Good luck. We'll keep watch here. Yes. Much to do. If you have time for Lavendel, there's something I could use help with. We lost a lot of wardens today. After Weiss helped, we need to be stronger than this to face the gods. But we'll do what we can. We always do. The wardens have your back, Rook. All the way to the end. So that's Elganon, huh? I didn't think it was possible, but... We got lucky at Weiss helped. We were fortunate Elganon and Gilanane disagreed on her attempt at vengeance. But why did Elganon let us live? We were at his mercy. Solus worries him. Maybe even scares him a little. Why? Solus is powerful, but nothing close to Elganon. It's not just about power. Solus has messed up Elganon's plans before. Nothing's bigger than dragons. But they're clever enough to take flight once they smell danger. Elgernon smelled danger. Whatever the reason, we made it through. And this time, no dragon escaped. Thanks to Tosh. That's why we recruited her. Um... 
Actually, Tosh uses them for themselves now. They asked us to let folks know, so now you do. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you for telling me. That's why we recruited them. So what's our next move, Rook? Arlithin, right? Help the Veil Jumpers? Remember that Antoine has something for us too. And we owe the Wardens. And the Shadow Dragons. They had our back in that fight. Right. We need our allies at their best to have any shot at defeating gods. Elganon's arrival certainly puts a dreadful emphasis on it. So we help our allies. And track down the gods. And maybe deal with our own crap when we've got time. Like whoever is blighting dragons for the gods. Look. The mission's still the same. Stop the gods. Which means? It means we offer to help the Veil Jumpers with the damn Venatori. Then we figure out what our other allies need. And help them get it. And us? I need you focused and ready to face impossible odds. So tell me what that will take. We've got work to do. So Elgernon finally showed his face, huh? Now we've got to deal with both gods. And Elgernon showed everyone he's more powerful than Gilanane. You play the hand you're dealt, right? No matter the odds. True in both life and games of wicked grace. People died, Varric. My team's still not at their best. They're trying, but their own problems are getting in the way. So deal with those. You'll strengthen your own hand and weaken the gods at the same time. Why would helping my team hurt the gods? The type of people your team's having problems with, they want power. And the gods have plenty of it. Those types will crawl over to the gods and see what's on offer. And the rest? They'll just keep making your job harder. Help my team to save the world, then. Right. And your other allies, too. We've taken down an archdemon and two blighted dragons. That's impressive. We even made Gilanane bleed twice. We have to keep up the fight. You've got this, Rook. Just fight one battle at a time. Strife, I got a tip there might be trouble here in Arlathan. You're just in time. We've got a problem. I was out with a scouting party, and we spotted the Venatori moving into the area. They're being directed by Elganan or Gilanane. They have to be. The Grey Wardens warned us the gods were heading to Arlathan, but why bring the Venatori? We don't know. That's where you come in. Well, that sounds like trouble. How can I help? Nip it in the bud. Don't let them stir up anything worse. I'll give you the rough location where we sighted them, but you might have to search beyond that. They want something, and we need to know what they're up to. I'll find out what it is. Feel free to take out as many of them as you can. This is our forest. We got here as fast as we could. It's bad. They're kidnapping Dalish to sacrifice them. What? You're serious? This isn't over yet. We'll put a stop to it. Where did they take the prisoners? The Venatori didn't come very far. We know that. And we found this weird glass they tracked in somehow. Glass? That could be from the Arlathan Crater. It said that Tevinter blood magic used to be powerful enough to fuse sand into glass. It's not too far from here. If the Venatori took the prisoners there... We'll find them. But it'll take time to put together a rescue party. Don't take too much time. We need to stop this. We will. Venatori are gathering deep in the forest. They've brought the Dalish with them. Not long till the sacrifices start, then. We did kill Gilanine's archdemon. The gods will want more power, and fast. That won't happen on our watch. We can save these people. You know the gods best, Rook. The Vel Jumpers are ready. Just give the word. I'll go get Nev. She deals with Venatori the most. Good point. We know where the Dalish are, and we know what we have to do. Let's do it. Then we ride, and pray that fate is on our side. Well? They're waiting for something. There's talk of a sacrifice. Do they mean the clan? They mean the clan, don't they? Well, the tracks suggest the captives are on the other side of the clearing. You'll have to go through the crowd. We're going to get that close to a crowd of Venatori. It's quickest. 
I found you some disguises. Oh, that doesn't smell good. Oh, oh, it's sticky. Why is it sticky? Blood. Hopefully. Make sure you split up. You don't want to draw attention. Nev, I need you with me. You know the Venatori best. And you're probably the only one who can convince them you belong there. Sad but true. That will be your entourage. I'll go with the Veil Jumpers. We'll try to keep the escape routes clear. Get the Dalish and get out of there. And please, try not to stand out. Is this elf your servant, my lady? To Mott's teeth. Must I defend my entourage to every low-paid toady out here? I I'm sorry, my lady. I, I was given instruction to- Tell someone who gives a damn. Why am I still waiting? Where are the gods? When does the ritual start? Gods? But only the Lord Elgernon is here, and he is still preparing. Useless. Out of my way. It's Elgernon, not Gilanane, like we expected. Elgernon might be here, but he doesn't know we are. He'll figure it out once the prisoners are gone. We'll worry about that when we have to. Then let's keep moving for now. For hundreds of years you have mourned the loss of your dragon gods. From beyond the veil, I heard your lament, and have come to deliver you from desolation. Dragon of Night, I break your chains, hear my voice, and rise! I am Elganon, once called Lusacon. And I have returned. The Archdemon is already fueling him. A child of my children, I will shower you with the glory of the ancients. All you must do is obey me, worship me, love me, and kneel. I... I... Oh, this magic. It's old and dangerous. Mythalinas. It's too strong, I can't break it. We've got this. I'm trying to conceal us, but he'll know someone broke his hold. Valara bought us some time, but we have to go. Now. Something's wrong. I thought I just heard Solus. You are correct. Elganon's magic has thinned the veil, allowing me to speak to you directly. Solus. We need your help. Then I am pleased that for once, I can offer some assistance. If you can rescue the elves, Elganon is mine to face. What do you mean? Elganon! Lathaline! Mabanal Avanuris! Masaline Algalana! I see what you mean. Let's keep moving. Solus is going to distract Elganon. Let's go! Let's go! Run! Run! It's tough being a Venatori. It was their duty to secure the sacrifices. It was their duty to ensure the ritual went perfectly. But despite all their efforts, Elgernon was disappointed. The cult would do anything to please their gods. The cult would give anything to its own. Anything. It really is tough being a Venatori. We'd lost all hope, and then... And then you swooped in out of nowhere to save us. He would have killed us to feed his dragon. Indeed. 
by Saranus, Lethalin. It was a team effort. It often is. Some fights can't be won alone. Celebrate the victories as they come. They're rare enough. And tomorrow, we'll have to deal with another Archdemon. And it will have regained his strength. Elgernon sacrificed his own Venatori to it. A punishment for their failures. The Venatori who escaped scurried back to Deventer. If the Venatori move again, the Shadow Dragons will hear about it first. The Veil Jumpers will fight our own battles against the gods. Any help you can offer would be appreciated. The Dalish prisoners escaped safely? We got them away free and clear. Good. I do not know how you have found your dealings with the Dalish. Whatever my frustrations with them, it was a privilege to be able to help our people again. Thank you for allowing me to help. The chance to infuriate Elganan was a reminder of simpler times. We would have had a hard time getting out of there without your help. I did not spend this long preparing you only to lose you to Elganan's machinations. Uh, no, I... I am sorry. That was poorly said. You have earned better from me. Okay. When we first met, I saw you only as a foolishly confident child who disrupted my plans. You were... an irritant. I gave you information to oppose Algernon out of necessity, but I expected you to be nothing more than a tool. Seeing you with your team... I was wrong. Yeah, you were. A mistake I shall endeavor not to repeat. Your team trusts you, and you listen to them. It is impressive. And enviable. It took me centuries to build such a bond during my rebellion. And when I served the Inquisition, I tried to avoid entanglements. So what do we do next? Elganan and Gilanain are preparing the dagger they will use for their ritual to pierce the veil. Elganan's power is tied to light and darkness. He will need to perform a ritual during the next eclipse. That gives us some time to prepare. It is likely to be your last chance to do so. You must be ready for whatever comes, for this world and for the team that trusts you. I know that you will do everything in your power not to fail them. So now Elganarn's recovered his own Archdemon, and the gods only need an eclipse to complete their dagger. We saved the Dalish, though. That's important. But now Elganarn's immortal, so long as his Archdemon lives. And we all know how hard those things are to kill. We killed Razakil, didn't we? After losing hundreds of Wardens, and it took a centuries-old trap to do it. We don't have either of those. Not anymore. Just when you think the tide's in your favor, it turns right back. The odds on this were never good. But we've already beaten them once. We have a job to finish. And two gods to kill. We don't get to wallow and whine. Because no one else is taking this fight. Nice speech, Rook. But it's hard to complete a contract if you don't know where the target is. We found the gods before. Not without help we didn't. So we get help again. We've got allies everywhere now. I can think of a few options, but... I'm open to suggestions. Wardens have run dry. Nothing new is moving in the deep roads. And the Veil Jumpers couldn't find any trace of Elgernon or his Archdemon. The crows may have something. The Antam are moving large quantities of supplies out of the city. Weapons, armor, gadlock. And several storehouses worth of food. What little we had left. It's enough to feed the Antam Navy for three months. Or all of Treviso for six weeks. Given the timing, it seems unlikely to be a coincidence. Wherever those supplies are headed, that's likely where we'll find the gods. Any more details from the crows, Lacanus? They said the Antam have long work ahead. We have time. Also, Biago would like a meeting. At your earliest convenience. From him, that means important, but not yet urgent. We've got options for what we do next. Figuring out where the Antam are taking those supplies should put us on the gods' trail. That said, the Venatori aren't up to anything good in Minrathus. Not to complicate things, but... The Inquisitor also wants to meet, Rook. Right. With everything he's been doing in the South, we owe him an update. I'll let him know. Keep your weapons ready. 
We don't know when the gods will show themselves again. Be prepared for anything. Next time the gods appear, let's make sure it's the last. I can't believe you're defending them. I am not defending anyone, Jakobus. You're letting them be a part of this? My cousin died because the governor didn't stop the Antom from... from... Uh, from taking over. Jakobus? I'm fine. But I'm not going to be a part of this. Well, now that that unpleasantness is dealt with, about your mysterious informant... Whoever they are, they know the Anta and Treviso. Your message made it sound like this informant also knows where the gods are staging their ritual. Treviso does not need this troublemaker. This should be left to proper officials. It very much concerns Rook. We have a contact who offers access to the Butcher and privileged information on the gods. A chance to find your gods and to free the city. A prize for both our causes. We need both. If we're strong, we can stand against anyone. Someone else seems to think so. The contact knows the city and the Antam. How do you know it's for real? They gave us patrol patterns. Dreadnought arrivals. Their information is real. And you didn't share this with me? People in this city continue to sicken and die. Do you not have other more pressing matters to attend to? So where are we meeting? Near the field hospital, where the market used to be. And they asked for me, not you or Viago. Even with what happened to Treviso, your fight against the gods is spoken of by many. You have respect and no small admiration. From who, though? That's the question. I'll talk with this mystery contact. And the rest of us will hope not to get caught in your crossfire again. If we can remove the Butcher and weaken the Antam, then perhaps Treviso can start to heal from the Blight. With luck, this informant is our key to that. Find them, Rook. Hear what they have to say. Rook, I presume. The Butcher. There's no need for that. Treviso is the trap. Not this meeting. Please. So tense. I promise I'll signal when it's time to fight. Strange way to ambush someone. <laughs> I don't have to ambush anyone. You think I couldn't just march on the crows? Scattered on town flock to me. I have the soldiers to raise your casino and every inch of this city. But I'll bet there's no profit in actually winning. Hmm. There's money being made by the occupation. But not by me. I said Treviso was the trap. And I meant it. The jewel of Antiva. She sings even while caged. Such purity in every stone. It's trapped my heart. I love this city. You have a strange way of showing your affection. I conquered it. I didn't betray it. Not like the cattle born here. You know there are traitors here. They ransom their own city. Literal gods stalk the land, but these filth worship their own purses. But you... You're different. You crows stay true to your roles. It means something when you die, and even more when you kill. You're as much a work of art as this city. And you... want a secret from me. If you really do love this city, You'll tell me where the gods are holding their ritual. <sighs> the gods, <laughs> they give strength. But all they ask in return is everything. I can feel their corruption. I can hear their whispers. They're calling for a ritual. If I give in, I'll know where you need to go. But I will lose my jewel. My city! So, 
<laughs> you live in a casino. Let us make a game of this. I will become what the gods want. Welcome their whispers. Meet me and show me if the crows deserve my city. He's gone. And he named the ritual site. Tearstone Island. The butcher didn't lie. For whatever that's worth. He got the death he wanted. Good trade, I guess. And he gave us the information we came for. Yes, truly the Butcher was a paragon of honor and virtue, and we are all devastated to see him go. Eventually. And now you have a location for your final pointless confrontation. The gods are at Tearstone Island. Isn't that what you wanted? A chance to die a hero's death? So go, leave Treviso to those who deserve it. What's left of it, anyways? Is there anything else you'd like to tell us, Governor? Oh, please, just say what you're thinking. You sold the crows out to the Antom! <laughs> you! You dare speak to me of betrayal! I saved Treviso from the Antom's slaughter! You let my people, your people, suffer and sicken in favor of Minrathus, of Tevinter! I gave up the crows, you gave up the whole city! Treviso is dying, Rook, and its killer wears your face! You weakened Treviso long before that blighted dragon attacked, Governor. What if our people could have fought back? Could have rallied to the city's defense? But the Antam kept them weak, let them die. That happened because of a choice you made. I live with the consequences of my decisions. Can you say the same? You live with nothing, Rook. You have the luxury of distraction, of defining all your actions by the greater good. So take your team to Tearstone Island. Face Elgernon and Gilanane, strike them down, or don't. Either way, Treviso is dying. But it's still mine. Leave its funerary rites to one who cared enough about this city to make themselves its villain. It makes sense now. Every decision they made shows it. The governor betrayed us all. And for what? A city that is sick and whose recovery will be measured in years. I take it you heard? The butcher's dead. And in his place is the traitor we knew was lurking. And the Antam fell in line? Whatever the Antam are looking for, then she's giving it to them. The blight changes things. Even the Antam fear it. The governor has given them a clear purpose. They were more cunning than I thought. If only we'd figured out it was eventually before all this started. I wish the same. But regret does neither of us good. We knew someone had delivered Treviso to the Butcher. You brought us their name. The hand that leashed Treviso. The Butcher was the mouth, but the hand was Ivenchi all along. They think they have the power in the Antam, and a network doing their will. But we have the face of our enemy. Ivenchi will be hiding, so we will hound their Antam and make them desperate. When the Governor show themselves again, we end this. We'll stop Ivenchi. The gods. Did you learn where they will be? Tearstone Island. Ivenchi confirmed it before they left. We know the time to face Elgernon and Gilanane approaches, but it will not take us long to find Ivenchi. If you truly want to help Treviso recover from the Blight, help us deal with the Governor. We'll let you know when we'll make our move. And after that, Treviso will be free. These meetings can't be good for business. I'm here, Inquisitor. It isn't just Inquisitor, is it? You were someone before that. Clan Lovellan. We try to be no one you've heard of. Morrigan is holding a perimeter. We're alone. Tell me what Solas did at Elgonan's ritual. Sounds like you already know. I need to hear it from you. Elgonan raised his archdemon, 
Solus got us out of there. We saved a lot of people. You sound grateful. Why not? He really did help. It seems so. He's always thinking about where it ends. How many of his names do you know? God of Lies, Dreadwolf, Fenharel. They're titles he earned from enemies, followers, and fractured history. I called him by another name for a time. Comrade, if not friend. You went your separate ways when he turned to ending the world? There was some unfortunate overlap. I will never excuse what he's done. He's killed people I held dear. You know this too. But? He became those names when he fought gods. And regret for his world turned into destroying ours. Sound familiar? You're making us sound like Solus. That's uncomfortable. We're not like our enemy. They're making us do this. Simple as one of Varric's morals. Don't become what you hate. Or trapped by what we've lost. Also one of his. Tell me about the team you've built. Are they a concern, or...? You're handling things. This part, what you have now. I just miss the banter about friends. Tearstone Island. That's where Elganon and Gillanane will perform their ritual. With an eclipse, those two can finish their dagger, then tear open the Fade. After that, we've witnessed the horrors Gillanane creates with even a trickle of the Blight. What happens with a Flood? Next eclipse is a month away. That's not a lot of time. Getting past the Antom Navy won't be easy. They'll be on high alert. We'd need our own fleet to get past them, which we don't have. If anyone can find a way around that fleet, it's us. Everything seems impossible at the beginning. Just fight one battle at a time. <laughs> Varric told me that. Damn right, kid. A single boat can sneak past a blockade. We just need to find something that floats. The Antam fleet may not spot us, but the gods see much farther. Worse, they know about us specifically. They'll be waiting. Let's make sure there's too many distractions for them to spot us. Sounds like you have a plan. Harding, reach out to our allies. Wardens, veil jumpers, all of them. Tell them to be ready to start swinging. We start in our fires, make some noise, and the gods will look everywhere for us. Except at their front door. It's worth a shot, but our allies aren't strong enough to fight a prolonged battle. We could be signing their death warrants, but it's the best plan we've got. That takes care of the approach, but what about when we get there? We'll have two gods waiting. Who knows how many on Tom? We'll need to be at our best. Question is, we there yet? We've still too much unfinished business nipping at our heels. There's time before the next eclipse. It's best we use it. I'll send off messages to our allies. They'll be ready. Would Morrigan help? Could Morrigan help? The world's ending. That's when Morrigan does her best work. Great. Tell Morrigan the plan. See if the Inquisitor's willing to help us. I know he's busy leading the fight in the south, but he knows this blight won't end until the gods are dead. We need to move soon, ready or not. I agree. Get some rest and be ready. Events are weaving together quickly now, Rook. For good or ill, the fate of the world shall be decided soon. I received Harding's missive. Your plan is sound. So the Inquisitor's in? Indeed. Although he requires a few days to set events in motion. Time is needed to allot his responsibilities to those who are capable of managing them. Once settled, he has pledged himself to your cause. The snake's head must be severed, else the body simply grows anew. And what of your other allies? Will they also be ready? There is no room left for doubt or hesitation. They've been ready for every fight before. I trust they'll be prepared. As they must be. There will not be another opportunity to foil the schemes of Elganon and Gilanane. If we fail in this, they gain all that is needed to reshape the world in their twisted image. 
The evil put into place with the aid of their Antum servants at Tearstone will cover the entire world. Look, the gods can't blight the world without their dagger. And they can't finish their dagger until the eclipse, which isn't for another. Elkanon. While you gather your people, I will find the Inquisitor. And Rook, I wish you great luck. Elgernon just caused an eclipse. The gods can finish their dagger. We need to move now. But we were supposed to have weeks to prepare. How much time do we actually have? It's not weeks, I can tell you that much. The Eclipse is slowly forcing an alignment between the stars and powerful currents in the Fade. Which means what? I'm afraid we've only a few hours until the gods complete their dagger. The gods were way too quiet after Arlathan. I should have known something was wrong. No one could have anticipated this escalation. Doesn't matter now. We're stuck with it. What will we be facing on the island? There's gonna be blight crap. And where there's blight, darkspawn. Right. Tearstone Island's also crawling with the entire Antom army. They've had time to prepare. It'll be brutal. So will the gods. We're walking right into their lair. We may not all make it out again. We're the only thing standing between every single living creature and the Blight. I don't want to watch the world fall and know I didn't do everything I could. So let's stop the gods. Whatever it takes. We're with you. The gods won't leave that island. No matter what. No matter what. Then we leave as soon as we can. Barak, I hope I'm not interrupting whatever you're doing. Take a deep breath. The gods changed all the rules. We're going in blind. The whole team is pretty sure we're going to die. And they might be right. Weird shit is happening. Of course the team's on edge. It's not a personal failing for you to be scared, either. I don't know how to carry this weight, Varric. No one does. This job was always going to call for someone who could improvise. You're on this team for a reason, too, you know. I guess I have some thinking to do. About... everything. Go on. You know where to find me if you need me. Well, let's not keep the gods waiting. It's fortunate we weren't spotted coming in. A lot of dreadnoughts. One shot is all it takes. Now we just have to deal with that. Morgan didn't exaggerate. That's the entire Antom army over there. Armies are big and clumsy. We can do this. Agreed. If we move quick enough. The gods will know we're here soon, and so will the Antom. We need a distraction. One team to draw off that army, and another to stop the gods from finishing their dagger. I'll take half the team and cause some trouble down by the Antom ships. Wait, I'm the scout. I can get us around this place faster. There'll be Blight farther up, Harding. And Darkspawn. I've fought them before, and I've got the stone on my side. No one's fast enough for that many Antom. Someone has to do this, Tosh. So who will it be? Harding's right. This requires a good scout. I'll take care of it. I promise. I'll take the rest of us and get to the gods before they finish their dagger and cut open the Fade. Once we're in place, Lucanis will take Solus's dagger and ambush Gilanane. Elgernon's pet. 
One problem at a time. As long as he has that Archdemon, he's invulnerable. Concentrate on Gilinane first. We kill her, take the God's Dagger, then deal with Elganon. We should go. Wish me a little luck. You got it. Harding. Like you said back at the lighthouse, Rook. We stop the gods, whatever it takes. Harding, are you okay? We drew off some on Tom, but you have to hurry. More on the way. Can you open the way out of here? I think so. Let me look. Oh, another fade tear. Oceans of magic are coursing around us because of the gods' ritual. Then we'd better find Gilanane. Quickly. Wait, wait, wait! There are wards blocking the way out. Blood magic. One touch could kill. How do we get through? Ideas? Patterns are familiar. If I can fracture the harmonics, we could get through. Maybe. I deal with blood magic. I can stop the damage long enough to burn out the wards. That's risky, Nev. Really risky. I can't ask you to do that. Your way is just as dangerous. Don't like it, but one of us has to do it. This is your territory, Bellara. Just go slow. I'll be careful. I'll keep this fade tear in check while you work, but with things so unpredictable, I fear anything might happen once we kill Gilanane. Solus warned me that there'd always be costs and consequences to fighting gods. But if we kill Gilanane, snatch the god's dagger and escape, maybe we prove him wrong. I dearly hope so. <laughs> And there. Great work. Thanks. Hey, be careful. The gods might know we're here now. That is a certainty. Melora! <laughs> the Elvin are a scattered people, but fret not. I shall bring your mage gently back into our fold. <laughs> You can all be forgiven by embracing the wisdom of surrender. Continue, and even the dread wolf will regret what I do to his pawn. Come on! Elganon and Kilinane are still on the island. If we move fast, we might get Bellara back. Damn it! Hold on, Bell! The gods know we're coming, but they still need to finish their dagger. We can divide their attention. Good idea. Half the team comes with me on the main path. Harding and the others keep out of sight and get Lacanis to the ritual. He kills Gilanay, and then we save Bellar. All this magic, it feels like a storm. Which means Elganard's almost completed the dagger. Where's Gilanane? On the move. Spike can feel her hunting for us. We didn't come this far for nothing. Everything the gods have thrown at us, it's all because they know we can win. We'll kill Gilanane, we'll get our friend back, and then... And then Elgernon. We'll hold Gilanane's attention until Lucanus has a clear shot. Good luck, Harding. Like we said, whatever it takes. It's all yours. As is Gilanane. There she is! The child of the stone. Get around her so we... Uh... Honey! She hears you not. So few of you remain. Small. Hush. Desperate. Nev. Fearful. For your transgressions, little rook, you face a god alone. Lucanis, I've got you.
Behold your current age! Fragile! Aimless! Lost! We are the only beings in this world who can cleanse and tame the Blight. Use it to rebuild the old glories! You've done naught but destroy them! You and Elkanan are trapped by the past, just like Solus. You had your chance, each one of you! And we don't owe you a thing! Open. The dagger! Rook! You must break its contact with Gillanane! So you have your victory. You live. Gelanane does not. Are you not proud to finally reach this moment? Or did you think you'd win the day without some painful sacrifice? <gasps> You chase a dragon out of Tevinter instead of the one attacking your own city. No one's retreating. We'll all die. Watch demons attacking the North Pole. You and your friends stood against the gods. Your courage is laudable. Solus! But mortals cannot win this battle. I am sorry, it is what must be. I did everything for you, Rook. You're worthless. Varric never believed in you. You are no leader. You were never up to it. You failed us all. What failure cuts your conscience now, I wonder? Ballara, 
Doctor. Your friend is dead. Dead and gone. It was your fault. Your fault. Regret, like all emotions, is a powerful thing. It can bruise us, break us, or blind us to the truth. Regret is even strong enough to serve as the lock on a prison built to hold gods. But such a prison can hold any captive. Even you. No. You were never ready to make the sacrifices that leadership requires. So through our connection, I molded you into someone the prison would accept in my place. Varric. Your work is done. This is... This is where we talked when I was dreaming. And I'm not dreaming. You're right. But we had to get those wards down. I made a choice. I live with the choices I make, the successes and the failures. We all believed in what we were fighting for, what we're still fighting for. And Belara knew what it might cost. She did, kid. We all did. Because you always chose the hard truth over the easy lie. Solus, on the other hand. Everyone's a pawn. Allies, even friends. He'll sacrifice them without a thought. Isn't that what pawns are for? Ardy. And you never wavered, not once. So how could I? Take care of the team for me. That's what Varric told me. And we were more than just a team. We were friends. But now you're gone. And the fight's not over. So I promise you this. I'm going to get out of here. Stop Elganon. Stop Solus. And save the world. I'll make sure your sacrifice was worth it. Great job, kid. He seized control of the Archon's palace? While the Magisterium was in full session, only the Venatori seemed to have survived. How were the Shadow Dragons? Still fighting, last we heard. But Elganon's blighted the city, and the Venatori magically sealed the gates. No one's getting in or out. Even the city's Alluvians went dark. We've got no way to contact the Shadow Dragons. They'd be dead already if not for Solus. Solus? He got to Minrathis just before the gates were sealed. He saved some civilians and killed some Venatori. Now people are rallying behind the Dreadwolf, like he's the only one who can save them. He'll save them from the Blight or die trying. He's not lying about that. Though I doubt anyone rallying to the Dreadwolf's banner knows that he plans to drown the world in demons once Elgernon is dead. He can't hurt Elgernon yet. That archdemon makes him invulnerable. Right. Solus needs to kill it first. And once that's done, Solus goes for Elgernon with the dagger he took from us. That's why we need to get to Solus first. He's not going to be happy when he sees you've escaped from his trap. That's his problem. He's got the dagger, and the dagger's the only thing that can kill Elganon. We need to get it back. We did attempt to create a dagger to replace the one Solus took. Nice to look at. 
but it can't cut through enchantments like the real thing. So it cannot kill Elgrenon. Looks real enough. But it is not. We don't have the right weapon to take down our target, and we lost too much killing Gilanane. We have no idea where Bellara is, or what Elgernon is doing to her. And Harding is... She's gone. Bellara would never forgive us if we let an elven tyrant conquer the world. And Harding always believed we should take the shot. They believed in this team. They trusted all of us. They aren't here to finish the fight. But we are. Get a message to anyone who's still out there. Tell them we're gonna stop Elgnon, and we need their help to do it. Then fix up your gear and take care of any unfinished business. In the morning, we take back Minrathus. Are you certain you're all right, Brooke? You know, for the first time in a while, I really am. You needn't carry this burden on your own. The rest of us will send word to our allies. You must take care of yourself in the meantime. We'll speak again soon. Thank you all for coming. If we don't stop Elganon today, our world is either dead or blighted. So we keep fighting until the job is done. It's gonna be hard. There's no guarantee any of us will make it. We're with you, Rook. Elgernon dies today. Whatever it takes. Strife. News? Our scouts confirm Elgernon is inside the Archon's palace. There's a giant tendril of blight tethering it to the Divine's Manor in Hightown. Then that's our goal. Breach the city walls and get to that tendril. Emmerich? Can we count on more much support? The Watchers, living and otherwise, will stand with us. Every remaining Grey Warden will be there too. No other crow will let you steal all the credit, Rook. We're with you. And the Lords of Fortune will be there. For gold and glory. The Veil Jumpers have been in this since the beginning, and will be there for the end. Solus is our first target. Without his dagger, we can't kill Algadon. Our scouts last spotted him working with the Shadow Dragons in the western section of Hightown. Okay, we go in through Hightown. How? Minrathus was built to fight off an army, even before Algadon reinforced the defenses. Every gate will be guarded. Worse than that. Our scouts reported that the Venatori sealed all the gates with those damn boarding crystals. Can the Veil Jumpers disable them? We've lost people, but we'll do what we can. It won't go quickly. You may need magical assistance, or someone to protect you as you work. Davrin, I want you backing up the Veil Jumpers. Count on it. The Venatori at that gate will be commanded by a war mage. That's how they usually operate. If we get rid of the commander, the rest of the Venatori will scatter. Can the crows cut the head off the snake? We'll do what we have to. There's gonna be a lot of guards between you and her. The lords can clear you a path. And one of us should be there as well. Emric, you're with the crows. Certainly. One last thing might give the crows some trouble. There's a massive construct tall enough to crush buildings. It's guarding the main gate. I've heard rumors. A golem constructed of bone. Controlled, I'm afraid, by a traitorous Navaran necromancer. We're gonna need our heaviest forces against that giant bone golem. Evka. The Grey Wardens are the closest thing to an army we've got left. We'll do what we can. The Morn Watch will lend its aid, but against my former colleague's undead monstrosity, we'll require further assistance. Rook? 
Carnish you with the wardens. Done. Nev? Tosh? You're with me. We make a run at the gate, get inside, and find Solus. The rest of you get to the Blight Tendril. Once we've got the dagger, we'll meet you there and take the fight to Elganon. I believe in this team, in all of us. So let's get it done. We go on my signal. Focus on the wards! to the gate!
gotta move. The necromancer was a true hero. It will be time to mourn once the battle is over. I will take him and return to the crows. They will need support in fighting through Hightown. Go! Find Solas and get the dagger. He is there, not far ahead. Fix this city. Tarquin, I am so sorry. It should have been me. I didn't see it coming, and he... It should have been me. Stay with Tarquin. I'm going to talk to Solus. You are as surprising as ever. Even I could not have escaped that prison. For you to manage it. I should end you right here. I understand your anger. If there had been any other way, there is no other way with you. It always ends with someone else paying for your mistakes. Me, the Shadow Dragons, Varric. You did something to my mind to make me keep seeing him. Yes. I was wrong to do so. You know what the worst part is? Part of me was excited about proving myself to the Dreadwolf. Rook. That's how you do it, right? You, you get people so eager for those little scraps of approval that they never see the knife coming. I am sorry. I betrayed you because I believed that only I could save this world. But I have failed, Rook. I have not stopped Elganan. I have not even defeated his archdemon. The victories that have been won since Algernon and Gilanane escaped are yours, not mine. If we are to save this world, we must work together. I wish I could believe you, Solus. I know I have earned your skepticism, but do you not believe that I wish to see the world free from Algernon's rule? I do, but then what? As soon as Algernon is dead, you finish your ritual and drown us all in demons. 
If joining me and stopping Elganon requires the Veil to stay in place, then I will pay that price unflinching. I swear by my own foolish pride, by love for friends I failed and hurt, by everything I ever held as sacred. I will leave the Veil untroubled. It will never come down by my hand. Now, if you will come with me, I can show you what has prevented me from reaching Elganon. And you can tell me your plan. Do you feel it? The Blight reacts to my presence. There! That must be the source of whatever intelligence guides it. If you can destroy the mind guiding the Blight, we may be able to reach the palace. I can accompany you no further. My presence will only draw the Blight to you. Archdemon, once Elganon is mortal, the final blow must be yours. I can think of no one better to wield this. You need that dagger for your ritual. I'm supposed to believe you just give it to me? If you do not trust me to uphold my oath, that is all the more reason for the dagger to be out of my hands. Please, Rook. Good luck. When next we meet, let us be standing over Elganon's body! We're gonna get you out of there. Elora is gone. There is only the will of Elgrenon. Giver of life. He was... he was all I could hear. It was my mind, but he made me want to help him. It's okay. You're free now. You're safe. None of us are safe. Once Elgernon is dead... Wait! You can't kill Elgernon yet. If you do, look out! Destiny is a heavy burden to bear. 
I'm growing heavier by the moment. You made it through. Not just me. The Inquisitor found us. Apologies for missing the War Council. We got inside the city with the Veil Jumpers. It gave us a chance to finally strike back at the Venatori. Whatever you did unblocked entrances to the Divine's Manor. It also destroyed some of the Blight. It'll come back. I can still feel it. I don't think I'm the only mage he used like this. Ballara. Good to have you back. Rook freed me, but I learned things when I was in that blight eruption. We need to talk. We will, but first, we need to get you to a healer. We'll take care of her. Thanks. I'll join you in a bit. Just want to check on everyone else coming in. While we still have time. He was in my head the whole time. It was like I wanted to help him. That monster's no god of ours. He's filled with the blight, and I think I am too. Rook. You're not dead yet. And as long as you're still alive, there's hope. For now, hang on. We'll see if there's a way for the Wardens to help you once Elgernon is dead. No, you can't. That's what I needed to tell you. When Elgernon was in my mind, I was kind of in his too. I could feel him. His mind, his magic, his life force. It's tied to the veil. His life is the only thing holding the veil in place. I felt the veil weaken when Gilanane fell. I expect that when Solus imprisoned the other gods, he bound them all thus. And now that Elganon is the only one left... If we kill him, the veil collapses. Which is why Solus gave me the dagger. He swore to me that the veil wouldn't fall by his hand, knowing the whole time it would fall by mine. His betrayals are creative. <laughs> I'll give him that much. We still have to kill Elganon. So what can we do? Can we tie the veil to something else to keep it in place? For an enchantment like that, we'll need a specific substitute. The veil was made to be tied to the ancient elven gods. Then let's tie it to Solus. He's the only elven god left. You will need to draw his blood with the Lyrium dagger to bind him. And I doubt he will approve of the idea. I can be very persuasive. <sighs> But it will be risky. What about this? The dagger we made while you were trapped in the Fade. Once Elkanon is dead, odds are good that Solus will need to do something else to complete his ritual. This dagger looks identical, but it can't cut through enchantments like the real thing. So if he tries to use it... The backlash of such magic would render him helpless. Unless he notices. You really want to try a bait and switch on the Dreadwolf? It all comes down to what happens once you take down Elganon. Whatever you decide, Rook, you have our support. All right. We can deal with Solus when the time comes, but we still need to stop Elganon first. He's in the palace above us. We'll climb the Blight Tendril to get there. Once Solus takes down the Archdemon and renders Elganon mortal, we hit him with everything we've got. Damn right we do. Time's running short. Stock up on supplies, pay your respects, and say goodbye to the people you love. Be ready to go when I signal. Bad news, everyone. Elganon's forces are gathering outside. They mean to prevent you from reaching their master. Our people will set up barricades, and we'll hold the enemy as long as we can. You need to start climbing. 
Let one of us help. I'm going up there. I owe Elgrinon for what he did. You go to face a god, Rook, but any aid you might spare would be welcomed. Davrin, they need your strength. You got it. We'll be cheering for you, Rook. All my best. The throne room. Knowing Elganon, we'll find him there. Rook! You made it! Elgrenon's using the Magisters to control the Blight, just like he used me. They're directing all of it at Solus. He won't make it without our help. How do you know? I can still feel it. Hear it. The Blight. I'll help Solus. Just get to the throne room.
such arrogance, thinking you can hide from your creator. And I am this world's creator. of the Empire I built. I would have restored the glory your lives are too brief to remember. I saw them at his crossing and Wise Hub, and everywhere else you've left your mark. I didn't see any glory. All I saw was a tyrant destroying everything he touches. <laughs> you mistake discipline for cruelty. A failing among those who lack a master's gentle guidance. We only destroyed because you resisted. In the new empire, every child would have blossomed under my protection. And Gilanane, my brilliant sister, would have forged the blight into a tool of beauty. But she is dead. And all we have is this. Because of you. Elkanan. Enjoy it while it lasts.
It is done. The world owes you a debt, both for defeating Elganan and for bringing down the Veil. I am sorry for this final betrayal, but I will do what I can to minimize the damage. When you see the old world restored, Please, Rook. I do not wish to fight against you. The veil's not coming down on my watch. It is over. You can never stand against me alone. If you will excuse me. The final enchantments require a delicate touch. Not just my blood on that dagger. No! You are never ready to make the sacrifices that leadership requires. Is done at far too high a price. <laughs> <laughs> 